your post fight with the victorious Ray Beltran. You move up to 140 for this fight. But in the second round, you tasted a little bit of that power from Okada, where he almost dropped you. You drop him, and then he comes back, and he almost dropped you. What did you see there in the second round, and how did you feel in that moment? Well, you know what? He got me good, um, and he hurt me, you know, he hurt me good. But I was trying to be patient, trying to look all his punches, and, and my... My, my body didn't respond well to get out of the, co the, the the ropes, you know, but I was very aware to try to block the punch. I think uh, I, I stayed too long in, in the ropes, and I took a, a lot of chance there, but, you know, we made it. Uh, you made some changes coming into this fight with your team. I know one of the things you guys talked about was trying to, to box a little bit more, but also still put the pressure, but it seemed like his jab was being effective uh, in the middle of the round. How did you feel his jab, and how were you able to combat that and get back inside and force your game? Yeah, you know what? Uh, we knew his jab was his uh, main punch, you know, because it started with the jab and finished with the right hand. So that was the problem, you know. That was the, the most dangerous of him. If I stay in his distance, that would not be... I, I, I become more more vulnerable, so we try to neutralize the jab. You know, we try to stay close to him and throw punches from a close distance, throw punches like a jab. You know, just close distance, and uh, little by little, it was it was a little bit difficult. You know, but but we end up like uh, getting close. You know, and, and stop stop him. Yeah, you got close and you were able to ran, land your bread and butter that right hand. What did you see on that punch when you dropped him? Then how were you able to finish? Well, you know what? Um, we knew. We also thought about like his right hand is always open for the right hand. And we, I was trying to set it up, but you know, but I was busy with other punches. So he, he didn't see it coming. Also, he didn't give me the distance, but he came in the right moment, you know. And, and when, when as I'm hurt, I was trying to go with a over right hand or, or, or hook and uppercut. And I think I get him in the road with a good uppercut. And I hurt him again, you know. And I was just on top of him and try to finish the fighting. And my uh, my goal was to finish, make the fighting uh, impressive. I hope people, all the fans, like it. I think the fans were excited about the fight, and I think that this was a big win for you, a win that you needed to put you back on the winning track. And now, 140 or 135, where do you want to go from here? You know, we're open for any opportunity. You know what I mean? Uh, we just open. You know, we uh, they can ring, you know, call. Whatever call happens, whatever, whatever they happens. say. Yeah. You've always been that kind of fighter. Whatever they bring to me, I'm going to take the challenge. There, yeah. I want to dedicate this fight to my daughter. Uh, she's uh, her 15th birthday on February 14th. Uh, that fight is for her. And also, I want to take the fight to dedicate the fight to uh, the the people that fighting cancer. You know, they're going through a big struggle. Uh, it's uh, I mean, I can't even imagine how hard that can be. But all my heart goes to them. You know, and thank you, thank you very much. Happy birthday to your daughter, and thank you for being a class act. And congratulations on the win tonight. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Ray.